In this video, we're talking about how we can take PDF export and rename all the files to add date in front of the file name so all PDFs are sorted in chronological order. This is a fairly common Friday request. You have somebody going to their house in Hamptons and they want to bring some work along with them. What they want to do is they don't want to log into relativity or any kind of system. They just want to have PDFs on their laptop so they could look at them while they're sitting on the porch while barbecuing. Well, that's fine. But what, uh, what else they want is they want to see documents in the chronological order. So what they want, PDF export that automatically sorts in date order. So let's see how we can do that. Here I have folder with PDFs that I've exported out of law and I have my results.csv file. And this is just a cross reference that contains um, my doc ID, metadata, and date that we want to sort documents by. So here's the metadata and a date. We don't really need any metadata here, so we can just go ahead and delete it. Next, we need to build a rename batch file to rename files and our folder where they exist. Let's go to that folder and grab a path. Okay, I'm going to copy it. And now let's build a path to our original PDF. So I'll say equals, put quotes, paste path backslash, and I'll say and a2 and dot PDF. So this is where files are right now. Let's expand that out and fill it all the way down. So let's check the bottom. Good. Now we need to figure out what do we want to name these files? Um, the best way to do this is to use text command. So we'll say equals text, and then we'll give it a value, which is B2. And the format we're going to use, since these files are going to be in the folder and they need to be sorted uh, on their own, we're going to need to use year, 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 month, month, day, day format. So let's do that year, 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 dash, month, big day. And let's see if this is looking good. Yes, it does. Let's continue. Now we need to append, say space, there's space, and, and put our original file name back, which is a2, and add .pdf. All right, let's see if this is good. Yep, this looks like a valid name. We have our date and original file name. So this way they're able to sort it. And if later on they need to reference it and say, hey, I'm looking at documents so and so, we're still keeping the original file name here. So let's apply it all the way down. Check it to make sure it did go all the way down. And now we can build out our batch file. Batch file for rename command is fairly simple. We have an REN command then we have our file we're renaming. And then the last parameter, which is tricky and people get wrong sometimes, it is just a file name of the new name that we want to use. We don't specify a full path at the end. We just want the file name. So let's do that. Say equals REN space close uh, quote end. And now we're going to put uh, quotes, chart 34, then we're going to do C2, and let me show you how it looks. So you see how we added a quote to our path? This way, if there are any spaces, uh, your batch file will still run fine. And we're going to add another quote. We want space, and finally, we need our D2 column. Um, in our case, we do have a space here, so we want to put uh, quotes around G2 so that it looks like that. Let's double click to, uh, and it's not going to do it because we have an empty column here, so just remove it, double click, look here, looks good. We're going to copy it, bring it into a text pad paste it, quickly look at it, and we can save it as um, 
rename files.bat. Don't call your batch file rename or ren because that's a command name. You're going to have a conflict. We're going to click on there. And we're going to return here. Double click. Give it a few seconds to finish. Go to our PDFs folder and you see how everything has been renamed and is in a chronological format. In my case, this export was emails and attachments in the same PDF. So entire family is included in the PDF. If you have attachments as a separate files, you don't want to use just the date sent to name your files because then your attachments are going to be separate. You want to generate sort date in whatever software you're using and then use the sort date to rename your files just like we did here. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your coworkers, subscribe to see more videos like that, click a bell to get notified when I post more videos. And if you have any comments, ideas, and suggestions, put them in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.